Hello, my name is Nicolas Besson. I'm an IoT architect for Witecho, and today we are going to show you the IoT connected crane. The demo is composed of three different elements. The first one is the QT UI interface, a voice recognition system, and a facial recognition system as well. We do have here a i.mxrt microprocessor that drives the motor, receiving instructions from the network, from a DAT i.mx8 platform running Linux on the Qt application. The camera is used for facial recognition. The microphone on the table is used for audio and vocal instructions detection. The vocal instructions are decoded using the Vivoca library, while the facial recognition is using TensorFlow algorithm for AI face detection. The graphical interface is using the 3D QT framework to display a 360 degrees bitmap. First of all, the goal of the game is to throw the ball on the table and through the hole at the back of the table. So you score if you can get the ball through the goal, but the computer will try to stop you and bounce the ball back to you. We made this uh, ping pong table demo to showcase the neural processing unit uh, capabilities of the IMX8 M Plus chip. So basically this demo is composed of uh, two cameras and two IMX8 M Plus boards on EP5 carrier boards and one Apollo Lake uh, X86 board on also an EP5 board. It's a bit of a man versus machine game. Hi, I'm Greg. I'm the business development manager from WeTakeU in Paris. I'm glad to introduce you to the new UI model from the Xelsi Suprema coffee machine we developed in partnership with Avnet Embedded. So you have a wide and complete tactile screen. Uh, you can customize all your drinks from coffee lens to the, the, the taste and everything and then save them to your profile. The main uh, feature of this uh, living product is that you can get special recipes and update new recipes uh, when you connect to Wi-Fi through OTI updates. It uh, runs on an IMX8 Nano on a carrier board done by Avnet Embedded. We use the Linux from the lower layers with uh, Yocto, and then we use for the UI on the back end the Qt framework uh, using both QLL and C++.